What's up everyone, Zach Seif here, and today we're going to count down the top 5 pieces of gear that improved my quality of life in 2022. So what kinds of items can we expect to be on today's list? Well, it's pretty simple. The following five items are all items that I purchased myself. They weren't given to me as part of a job or a video. They're things that I purchased with my own money after doing my own research and reviews and testing to see if it's something that could improve the quality of my life as a full-time musician. So what I mean by that is just one piece of recording gear, one guitar, one case, that sort of stuff as to not just make the whole list full of guitars or the whole list full of multi-effects units. These items do range in price from a couple hundred bucks to a couple thousand dollars and all of them are available for purchase as of the timing of this video. This video is not being sponsored in any way, shape, or form by any of the products or companies that I'm talking about, but you guys know I like to talk about gear that I use myself and that I highly recommend. So with all of that out of the way, let's get started with the video. Just a quick reminder that according to my analytics, about 90% of you who watch my videos on a regular basis are not subscribed take two seconds please hit that button it helps me out a lot as a content creator with that out of the way let's get back into the video Ugh. coming in at number five is this pelican air 1615 case this case is currently fully loaded and honestly i would expect it to weigh twice as much the main reason why i shifted over to the air series this year as opposed to the 1510 that i was using is that the fm9 didn't quite fit in the old Pelican case, unless I took all the film out and stored it in a backpack, which was fine, but I wanted to be a little less of a barbarian, a little bit more protective of my expensive equipment. So I got the Air 1615. If you haven't yet, you can check out my full review and demo. I'll link the video up there. Also link it in the description if I remember to. The reason why I picked this case for today's video is that it has massively improved the quality of my life while on the road with Crash the Party. I can fit my FM9, my power amp, my backup rig, all of my cables, my in-ear system, and any accessory that I can think of, and I can wheel it all in one very sturdy protective case. As you know, Pelican cases are some of the best built cases out there on the market today. These things are water resistant, fire resistant, bullet resistant. Uh, it's a fantastic case. They're light enough to travel with and store in a truck, a trailer, or even take on a plane. The Air Series in particular is lighter than most of its counterparts and will allow you to check it in on flights and stuff like that for a lot cheaper than the regular case. So I highly recommend you check out the Pelican Air Series. Coming in at number four on my list, which is significantly smaller in size, is the iPad Air 5th generation. As many of you know, I teach private music lessons during the week when I'm not on the road or making videos or doing artist relations stuff. And I finally maxed out my old iPad Pro from 2016. I had no storage left for sheet music or music files for teaching, so I upgraded to the Air this year and I am impressed a million fold compared to the Pro. While the Pro might have been physically larger, this is big enough to comfortably read sheet music and teach from for five hours a day. What I like about it is the storage. It's a 256 gigabyte and it has the Apple M1 chip. This thing is at least three times as fast as my old iPad Pro. It's a night and day difference. The display is much easier on the eyes and it's just an overall improvement. I can easily view all of the music that I teach for drums, guitar, piano, ukulele, music theory and it all loads with a handful of apps that I use. And I plan on making a follow-up video going through why I think iPads are such a great tool to have in your music kit. Coming in at number three on my list, my JH Audio Custom In-Ears. These things have made the biggest difference in my live guitar playing on the road with both Evolution X at the beginning of the year and Crash the Party now. Having a set of custom molded in-ears has allowed me to hear everything that we're playing in crystal clear high definition audio and also block out the most amount of extraneous and ambient noise. I have no ringing in my ears after shows. I never feel fatigued and 
it's really due to these fantastic high quality headphones that I've been using. The biggest benefit to these is that they have 10 drivers or 10 speakers per side, and it allows me to hear every last detail of our backing tracks, all of the live guitars, the vocals, even the drum kit. And it just allows me to be able to do my job on stage without having to worry about where the monitors are pointed or having feedback or not being able to hear something or having to flag down a sound guy to increase the volume of XYZ. In-ears, custom molded, these things are worth every penny. While these might be a little bit more on the expensive side of things, this specific model, the 16 V2s retails for about 1600 bucks. I highly recommend that you check out JH Audio because they do offer options starting at just a couple hundred bucks that are going to last longer, sound better, and be more comfortable than any universal generic mold that you can find on the market. Plus, their artist relations guy, AJ, is a homie and he helped me out more than I could have asked for. So definitely invest in custom in-ears if you plan on doing live music for a long time to come. Coming in at number two on today's list is my beautiful 2020 Gibson Les Paul Custom Shop Historic 1960 reissue. I have yet to have played a Les Paul up until this year that feels, sounds, and plays as good as this one does. It's just, I mean, look, look at that guitar. This is what a burst is supposed to look like, in my opinion, and it'll only get darker in age more over time, the more I play it and the more that I take it out and make music with it. And it's true to spec. It uses the hide glue. It's the same woods and construction techniques that they would have used. The hardware is aged. They have the old school tuners on it. They have the same finish that they would have used. The pickup covers are distressed and the guitar is just a ringer. It sustains for days. It holds tune really well. And it's just very inspiring every time that I pick it up. In fact, it's one of the only guitars that I play at home these days. It's usually between this, one of the Petrucci's, and maybe the PRS. And that's really all I use at home and in studio because it's just such a blast to play. It's very versatile. You get a lot out of the knobs. The volume and tone knobs are extremely responsive and the high quality custom bucker pickups that are in here just have that beautiful vintage PAF sound. While this is by far the most expensive single piece of gear that I own, I feel that it was worth it because it just really inspires and motivates me in a way that no other piece of gear really does up until number one on my list, which is. I'm coming in at number one on my list of the top five pieces of gear that I bought in 2022 is the Fractal Audio Axe FX3. Now, as you can clearly see, the Fractal is currently racked up in my studio and I have no desire to unwire the whole studio just to hold it in my hands for this video. So you guys can see it back there. You've seen it and heard it in almost every single video that I made this year since acquiring it back in. I think I got in early winter. I use the Fractal 95% of the time when I'm at home. All of my YouTube videos, all of the tracks that I make for Crash the Party, and all the session work that I do, all the lessons that I teach from home, it's all Fractal all day, and I love this piece of gear. I've barely scratched the surface as to what it can do, but it has been the greatest investment that I've made this year. Having it hardwired in my studio rack means all I have to do is flip on my power conditioner back there, turn on my interface, turn on the fractal. Everything is always plugged in. I have a cable that's always hot and ready to go. My levels are always set so I can get crystal clean recording tones without any clipping and have plenty of headroom to do what I have to do with it. And it's the most versatile, high quality piece of amplifier profiling gear on the market today. And I truly believe that because I've played everything else on the market and nothing has come close to the quality of the Fractal. Might not be the most user friendly, but honestly, you don't need a degree to figure out how it works. If you just read the manual, maybe watch one or two YouTube videos, you'll be set to go, just like with any other piece of digital gear. Spend a few minutes with it, dial in a sound that's as close to what you would use in real life, and it'll sound fantastic no matter what. So this thing has been the biggest overall improvement in terms of my workflow, my quality of life, and also the quality of the audio for what I do. That just about wraps up today's video. Those are the top five pieces of gear that I purchased in 2022 that have had a major impact on how I do my job as a full-time musician. All the links to individual videos for the gear that I made will be linked in the description below, so be sure to check those out if you want more info on any of those pieces of gear. The only one that's not out yet is the iPad video, but that will be coming out 
very soon. As always, if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a like. It helps me out a ton as a content creator. And until next time, everyone, keep on following your dreams.